Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahusha, Bahashon, Rakakudash. Shalom Yasharala, peace Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to our power. Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha, Bahashon, Rakakudash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone, who still well. Being great examples unto all Israel. Peace, mercy, blessing, and salutations to the elect of Israel. Shalom. Shalom to the hopeful elect. We almost up out of here. Now, this is going to be my response to the videos by the elder brothers, Yashawamba and Monagon. And the topic is media goddess of illusion. I'm here to lamb back off the lessons that they did. Now I'm going to entitle this Media Goddess of Illusion Media Instrument of Witchcraft And you're going to see how these two Tie together How they tie in together Which if you watch the lessons that the elder brothers did You understand that Alright But I'm here to add my spirit to two cents You know And take some more beat off the bone man Because this is a very deep topic You can Hit it from all angles, man. All right. And I also want to say the water, wash to the IQM that send out the information on this topic so brothers can do lessons. All right. You know who you are. Shalom. All right. Now, media goddess of illusion. And that's supposed to be a artist depiction of her here. Okay. Because this goes back to Greek mythology. Which really goes back to Japheth, okay? Their deities. Because Esau is not original. Once he conquers a land and once he takes over a nation, once he conquers that nation and takes over that land, he takes on their identity, you know, their ideologies. He even takes their gods. He takes all that upon himself, okay? He's done that throughout time, all right? So let's, uh, let's get into it, man. Okay, you have media, the goddess of illusion. Now it says right here, what is the goddess media? All right, so let's read about this demon because it's really a demon, okay? There are no such things as goddesses, all right? What is the goddess or the demon media? Media, goddess of illusion. Now remember that word illusion, we're going to get that word too. Now it says, Media, goddess of illusion, was the daughter of King Arides of Colchis, was known as the wise one for her skill of healing and proficiency. That word proficiency goes into skill, like your profession. Okay? Now it says, she was known for her skill of healing and and proficiency at using drugs and herbs. Remember that word drugs. Now it says media was a devotee of the goddess Hikate and one of the great sorceresses of the ancient world. You know, so really when you go back to a lot of these different demons and a lot of these different women that would call themselves goddesses, these were actual women that lived on the earth. Key point, uh, Semiramis. She was an actual woman that lived, but she deified herself. Okay? Attempting to make herself a goddess. Same thing with this woman here. Media. All right? Nonetheless, it says how she was a devotee of the goddess Hikate, which... We're going to get into all this, man. A lot of this goes into uh, sun worship. Okay. Now it says, and she was one of the great sorceresses of the ancient world. Man, let's get into it, man. But it says how she's the goddess of illusion. But think about that word media. What does that remind you of? What does the word media remind you of? You got the word media and you have the word illusion. 
Now, this is the word media on the free dictionary. Now, it says a plural of medium. And the word medium goes into middle. It also goes into a witch. All right. You have a medium, someone that communicates between the living and the dead. They act as a uh, mediator between these two realms. All right. But let's read some more. It says, dealing with media, communications and information, the means of communication that reach large numbers of people, such as television, newspapers, and radio, the media. But it goes to illusion, man. <laughs> media, the goddess or the demon of illusion. So a lot of these different things that we see, whether it be by way of television, newspapers, radio. And for the most part, we all have smartphones. The, the news that we read and see on our smartphones, most of it is an illusion. It's not real. It's not accurate, man. It's basically witchcraft. Okay. To say it bluntly, it's witchcraft. Now, dealing with the word media, now you see it goes back to medium. It goes back to medium. Now, for medium, all right, it's a noun, but uh, you don't know, say it's plural. All right, it goes into mediums, etc. A middle state or condition, mean. Now, a middle state. Something intermediate in nature or degree. Now it says one of the means or channels of general communication, information or entertainment in society as newspapers or television. Now, when you think about this right here, let's scroll down to number 10. A medium. Dealing with a medium, a person through whom the spirits of the dead, meaning spirits that are in the spirit world, which they're not dead, they're just not here. All right. They're not in the flesh. We classify them as dead, but really they're in a different dimension. You know, but the medium, that person is living. They're on the earth. All right. Just like your television. That's a thing of the earth, but it acts as a communication. All right. A gateway, basically, man. Now, it says a person through whom the spirits of the dead are alleged to be able to contact the living. All right. So when you think about the media. Which is, for the most part, an illusion. OK, basically, it acts as a, uh, a portal or a gateway to open you up to demons, man. And you can be deceived. You can be deceived. All right. Esau's top weapons are the sword and mass deception. You see. Now that word medium goes back to the Latin. Medius meaning middle. Just like you had the Persians and the Medes. The word Mede actually goes back to middle land. That's what it, what it uh, literally means. Middle so mead or media, medium means middle. Okay. Now, to show you something really quick, I looked at the word gateway because Esau is pushing out very heavy witchcraft in this time that we're living in. Okay. Now, this is the word for gateway or the definition for gateway. Now it says noun. An opening or a structure framing an opening such as an arch that may be closed by a gate. Now, that opening would be the television. All right. It could be a television. It can be your smartphone, your radio. You know, it's basically like a portal, man. Even dealing with going back to your uh, your television or your, your smartphone or your tablet, your laptop. They have something that's called scrying mirrors, you know, or black mirrors, which is basically what these different things are. 
these forms of technology are smartphones, you know, these different gadgets, your smartphone or your smartwatch, your uh, your tablet, you know, your iPad, etc. Your laptop, desktop computer, these are basically scrying mirrors because when the computer is off, the screen is black. But but these are, are gateways, man. But this all goes back to media. You're going to see it all connect. See it all connect, man. Okay? Don't be impatient. Now let's read some more. Something that serves as an entrance or a means of access. A gateway to success. Now, this is right here. Software or hardware that enables communication between computer networks that use different communications protocols, also called router. Well, for the most part, we all use the internet, man. For the most part, people are using their internet, you know? This is the main form of communication today. You see, the World Wide Web. All right. That's how everyone networks. But communication is also goes back to media. We read that, you know, and it trickles on down. You got your uh, your television, newspapers, radio, etc. OK. But you see the point, man. You see the point. An entrance or passage that may be closed by a gate. But that's the point, man. So, oh, check that out. Now it says translations. Portal. Portal. Now it says uh, Puerta de Exceso, which, if I'm not mistaken, means uh, port or portal of access, you know, or gateway uh, of access or to access. So, pretty much, the, the media. Is a gateway between uh, the, the spirit world and the uh, and the physical world, man. Now Esau is not going to tell you that, but see, this is how he's able to deceive you. All right, we're in that time, man, of mass deception. Now, I'm going to read this one more time, dealing with media, the goddess of illusion, the demon of illusion. Media, goddess of illusion, was the daughter of King Arides of Colchis, was known as the wise one for her skill of healing and proficiency at using drugs and herbs. Remember that. Drugs and herbs. Media was a devotee of the goddess Hikate, which goes back to sun worship, and one of the great sorceresses of the ancient world. Now check this out, man. Check the scripture out. Let's get the scripture. Revelation chapter 18, and we're going to read verse 1 down to 3. This is dealing with the, the uh, complete destruction of Babylon the Great, which is North America, the United States. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. That angel is Yahweh Shah. He's coming back in that humongous so-called UFO, that humongous fathership. All right? And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, meaning America, is destroyed, is destroyed, and has become the habitation of devils. It's, it's going to be a, the greatest desert on earth, full of all types of desert uh, animals. Okay, lizards, scorpions, wild owls, etc. Okay, Komodo dragons, you name it. And the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Right, you know, uh, owls, etc. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, which is America's democracy, America's foreign policies. Okay? They're in bed with America. You even have this saying today how, you know, different uh, countries and nations are in bed with other nations. They do business together. So these different nations have committed fornication with America. And fornication means spiritual adultery. It can mean literal adultery, but in this sense, it's talking about spiritual adultery because these countries got turned out by way of America, by way of that, that uh, democracy. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth 
are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Right. They do all this business with America. Send all these different, uh, you know, uh, exports to America. Okay. These different goods, you know, are imported here. You know, and America is the biggest uh, consumer nation on earth. Which really America is a corporation. All right. Now it says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partaker of her sins and that you receive not of her plagues. But, you know, the point was in uh, verse three. All right. So these different nations, they have drunk of the wine of the wrath of America's fornication, the democracy. Now. We're going to read verse 23. Because, see. This is dramatized when you read in this chapter. There is such great, um, for lack of better words, you know, um, emphasis on the reason why America's getting destroyed. Okay. And verse 23 hits the nail on the head, man. All right. Revelation 18 to 23. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. What do you think about when you hear that? You think about these different skylines in America, you know? Cities of uh, lights, you know, when it's night outside, but you see the city all lit up. You think about the Statue of Liberty. You think about the power of America, how America was a world power. OK, that's not going to be anymore very soon. And the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. No more marriages. Now it says for thy merchants. Were the great men of the earth. All these different nations. Send their goods to America. To be bought by Americans. Now listen to this. For by thy sorceries. Were all nations deceived. Going back to what? The media. The media. Okay. Mass deception. So the media is a damn weapon man. You know. Think about it really quick. How many nations really believed that 9-11 actually happened? That actually believed the uh, Twin Towers were destroyed by so-called Arabs. They were destroyed by so-called terrorists. You know, Bin Laden and them. You know, think about that, man. Think about the justification that brought. Because they deceived the whole world. Think about even right now. The situation with this coronavirus. Think about how the world was on lockdown. And so many people bought into that. Thinking that this is real. Not to say that there's not a coronavirus. Or that, or that, that, uh, or that there's not a strain called COVID-19. Not to say that at all. But we know that this is a made up uh, disease, man. As far as the numbers. As far as the numbers go. Okay. The tally of deaths that they push out to you. OK. For by thy sorceries going into the media were all nations deceived. Now. To prove that. Let's get that. OK, we're going to look up that word for sorceries in Revelation chapter 18, verse 23. That word for sorceries is pharmakia, which goes into pharmacy. Now it says the use or the administering of drugs. Wait a minute. Going back to media, right? Media was known as the wise one for her skill of healing and proficiency at using drugs. Which really, see, America is not healing the earth. America's destroying the earth, man, by way of media, by way of pushing out sorcery, okay? By way of deception, you know? Now it says the use or the administering of drugs. Oh, poisoning. <laughs> so you're, you're not being healed, all right? America's poisoning you. And that's why I tell you in uh, the book of Jeremiah, you know, when you read about the destruction of Babylon the Great, as a matter of fact, because this all ties in, actually. Revelation 18, Jeremiah uh, chapter 50, Jeremiah chapter um, 51. Now, what I want, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's in 51. 
Bear with me really quick, Baba Kusha. All right. Yeah, this is it. Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon have been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, their fornication, their democracy, their sorcery. Therefore, the nations are mad. They're going crazy. They're going crazy. They're poisoned. Okay? They're losing their damn minds, man. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Wait a minute. Did not we read that in 18? How for her? So cry for America. Weep for America. Take balm for her pain. Right? Get all types of ointment, you know, to heal this place. If so be, she may be healed. I don't give a damn how many stimulus packages and, and checks America sent out and, you know, how much aid America receives from different nations. This place ain't going to be healed, man. All right? But that's the point on that. The point is, though, man, going back to this right here, sorceries goes into uh, pharmacia, which goes into pharmacy, which goes into the use or the administering of drugs and poisoning. Poisoning. Going back to media. Now we we'll say sorcery, magical arts. Woo! Think about that television, man. You know, and there's so much predictive programming going on. There's so many subliminal messages out there. Because see, this media is controlled by who? The powers that be. The wicked elite of Esau. The wicked elite of the so-called white man. All right? They control the media. You know? And all these different... Uh, TV stations are all owned by a handful of corporations, man. The same people, okay? To push the same agenda. Sorcery, magical arts. You can't tell me when you cut on television or when you look on the internet, that's not magical arts, you know? And really, when you think about the invention of uh, the television, the event invention of uh, the computer, uh, tablets, smartphones, etc. This is all lower forms of uh, miracles. Magical arts. Now it says it's often found in connection with idolatry. Check that out, man. And fostered by it. You can't make this up. It's written. It's all written, man. Metaphorically, the deceptions and seductions of idolatry. Because at the end of the day, we live in an anti-Messiah system. We live in a beast system, a lawless system. And the ultimate agenda of the New World Order is to get everyone microchipped and, and to get everyone to worship Satan. Okay? That's what it's all about to these people, man. It's written. All right? It's all in the scriptures, man. For by thy sorceries, basically for by thy media, where all nations are deceived. Because you got to think about the situation that's going on in America right now. Do you know what that paints to the whole world? Hey, but going back to that word media, we're going to get that too. How media actually goes into uh, um, different, different forms of uh, arts. Actually, um, to be exact, different things you use to make art. For example, you can use paint, you can use uh, oil pastel, you can use chalk, you can use pen, but just different things you can use to uh, to create art, okay? That's known as media also, or medium, mediums, okay? Matter of fact, let me see if I can get that for you. I know I'm all over the place, but bear with me, okay? And Lord willing, this is edifying, man, okay? I had this all on my spirit. At the job, I couldn't get home fast enough because I had to do this lesson. I had to, man. Okay, now this is dealing with the word medium again, which Lord will. Yeah, hey, this is it right here. I'll praise you. How about you? I was shot. Number eight. Now it says, A, a specific kind of artistic technique or means of expression as determined by the materials used or the creative methods involved. Right. Now it says the medium of lithography. The materials used in a specific artistic technique. Oils as a medium. Right. But you can use anything as a medium. 
to make this art, to convey this message, to paint the picture. You get the point? You see, man? Yeah, that's it right there, man. Okay? It all connects, though. It all connects, man. <laughs> oh, it says a substance that propagates energy or signals through space via changes in its own state. Right? But see, you think about the energy they're pushing out, you know, by way of the media, by way of the television, by way of, you know, the Internet as a whole. You know, well, you have the uh, TV that's separate, you know, if you got cable. But some people watch, you know, the, the, uh, the Internet. They watch different things from the Internet on their television. You know, you have smart TVs. But you think about, you know, the energy that's being pushed out there, man. Okay, the frequency that's being pushed out. This is all witchcraft, man. All sorcery. But Lord will it all connected for you. All right. Let's see if we can get a little bit more on this. Because they have a, uh, a post from uh, Facebook. Yeah, let's check this out right here. Now it says, this is by Theo Colbert. Which I don't always go on Facebook, but, you know, I'm getting this information right here. Which I'm not going to read it all. I'm going to hit the main points. Now it says, Hikate, media goddess of witchcraft. The goddess of illusions, media. Under whose spells you remain. All right. Now, um, which they go off on a lot of things. All right. But let's see if we can get some truth out of this. Now it says, Hikate, night wandering queen of the world below, which media, she was a devotee of this demon. All right. Because media basically was an actual uh, woman, but she deified herself. But she worshipped this demon right here. Okay, now it says, The three most famous witches of the classical world are Hikate, uh, uh, Serke, or Serke, and media. These magical beings were, were not the completely evil hags that witches later became under the Christian in Inquisition. Hey, well, you know what? We don't even need to read no more of that, man. To see, this is justifying. Oh, this is put up by the Encyclopedia of Magic and Witchcraft by Susan Greenwood. Well, of course, you know, Esau, you know, uh, this Shedemite, this Edomite woman, of course, she's going to speak good of witchcraft because that's what you Edomite women believe in. OK. So we don't even need to get that, man. You know, but. When you read this right here, it says, goddess of magic, general, we are told that Helios, the son, had two sons, Aetes and Perses. You know, and it says, Aetes being the king of Colchis and the other king of the Tauric, Chichersonisi, and that both of them were exceedingly cruel. You know, which this is going into mythology. All right. But the point is, they're talking about the sun. So since the beginning of time, people have worshipped the sun. OK. That's all throughout uh, time. As far as these different nations, man, even wicked Israelites worship the sun. OK. Well, they're speaking about media again, you know, but I think we hit the point dealing with media as far as media, you know, being a, uh, a deity or a demon. But you got this demon right here, Tyler Perry. And look what he's doing. This is an Israelite man. You know, tall as hell, six foot something, but dressing up as a damn woman. But remember, media is the goddess of illusion. This is a damn man. This is a grown ass man wearing a damn uh, wig and a fucking dress, man. Dressing up as somebody damn grandma. All right. You can't tell me uh, this is all a coincidence, man. Media is the goddess or the demon of illusion. But it's a damn illusion right here. Because so many of you Israelites grew up uh, watching these different Tyler Perry shows and movies. Okay? Damn near everybody and their mama got at least one of them damn movies. 
And basically, when you watch this nigga so long, you will damn near start to think that, man, he, he actually uh, sound like a damn woman. He actually sound like somebody grandma. This is witchcraft, man. And, and it's normalized. It's so normalized. Look at this shit, man. This shit ain't normal, man. Which a lot of you jakes, you know, that make it in this world and, and that are sodomites, you know, a lot of you, you were, you know, uh, basically molested as uh, children. You know, that's the reason why you, you know, so naturally just like that, man. You're naturally like that, but it's, it's really unnatural. Okay, you're so okay with it and you condone it, but you were abused. But now you're pushing out this BS, man. Thanks to the so-called white man, because they do want to effeminize the Israelite man. Okay? Through the media. <laughs> and you have Medea. It's all connected. Okay? It's all connected. Now, check this out right here, too. Now, you have that show that's called American Gods. Right? Now, see if I can turn that like this. You had that show, or have that show, that's called American Gods, and one of the deities on there is the deity known as Media. Media.